everybody in here sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you lovely people it's raining down hard outside so I just had to go out in the rain and make sure that the wash tubs sink you know drain is plugged up so that I can do some laundry hopefully it'll stop raining and it's about half full now so that's perfect I'm gonna be able to get some laundry done and I got to show you how I do all that I don't know if I'll show you today I don't know I think I should maybe I should Anyhow, I gotta make some breakfast. I felt like a coffee cake, so I'm using this blueberry muffin mix, and for the topping, I just use brown sugar, flour, nuts, you know, that sort of thing. So I've got to preheat the oven to 400. It's got a little bit more to go, but when it's ready, I will pop it in. There we go. It's gonna be delicious. I can't wait till it's done. Close the door and let it cook. And look at that, it's perfect. Knife came out clean, I just need to let it cool and then take a taste test. Lick it. It turned out perfect. The crust is not too dark on the bottom or on the sides. And the cake part looks perfect. So, oh no, Papa, this is not for you. I'm gonna try me a little bite. Ooh, look at that. Look, you guys. Oops, can you see it? Oh, mmm, mmm, very good. The topping is really crunchy and I didn't even use any butter. It turned out perfect, mmm, look at that. Are you jealous? <laughs> Guess where I went yesterday. I went to the tractor supply company and I got something. I got a lot of somethings. What do you think's in this big old box? Well, I'm going to show you here in a minute. But first, I want to tell you the $200 gift certificate to tra Tractor Supply Company that Alice gave me has been put to good, good use. So, well, I stocked up on chicken feed, chicken bedding, dog food. Um, gosh, there's so much more. I got a big red bucket because I'm going to do something with it with a lid. I got a little chicken feeder. A little tiny baby chicken feeder. Can you figure out what's in the big box yet? Can you? Can you? Um, I'm trying to remember. Oh, I got some more seeds too. I have not planted lavender and I need to plant some lavender so I got me some la lavender seeds. What do you think's in the big box? <laughs> I want to show you. Let's see. Let me do it this way. You can see it better. Look, you guys. <gasps> Thank you, Alice. I bought one of these, and it is a good, good model. It is a Pro Series Digital Circulated Air Incubator with Automatic Egg Turner. It has two little spots where you can put water in. You just get like a turkey baster or something. And it's got a nice case and everything. It says it runs on 40 watts, but hmm... I'm going to put this together today and test it out on my solar to see if I can keep it going for a full 24 hours. Um, Mr. Lucas, I've already talked to him. In fact, the day I got it, I took it over there and showed it to him. And he says, it's okay, I can hook it up out in his shed that has electricity. And that, in fact, that might be the better choice all around, just in case, you know, like today, there's no sun. And you don't want that temperature to drop when you're incubating eggs. So, I don't know what I'm going to start this, but uh, I am going to put it together today and at least hook it up for a little bit on my solar. Um, it's already up to 80% and it's, it's overcast. Uh, and just see how long it can run, you know, just, just to see. But Alice, thank you so very much. This is great. Me and Mr. Lucas are going to be able to hatch baby chickens of our own. I'm excited. Are you guys for the rest of today? I hope it stops raining because I would like to get out and do some laundry. Uh, I haven't even checked on the chickens yet, but it's still really early. There's multiple different things that I, well, that I need to get done, but that I have also got done yesterday. So at least I'll be able to show you some footage of that. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you. Also, I got a ton of garden soil from Treasure Supply Company. I can't remember how many bags. It was like 10 bags. So both of the larger helicopter beds are ready to plant. They are ready to plant. 
um, the little smaller square one. I still haven't dug the hole or built the, you know, the bottom of it yet, but both of my garden beds are ready to plant. So when, you know, all danger of frost is gone, um, I'm going to be able to start planting out there in those two big garden beds. So I'm excited. Anyways, let's, let's just keep our fingers crossed that it quits raining. This is what I've done with this bucket. I installed this correctly, hopefully this time. Uh, the last time I tried it, I put the spigot down too low and you couldn't set it on a flat surface because the bottom was too low. So I had to, I didn't have a hole saw small enough for this, so I had to cut it with my little multi-tool knife. And so far, it looks like it's holding up. Now this is not where it's gonna stay permanently. I'm just keeping it right here just so I can keep an eye on, make sure it doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't leak. So all I have to do now is just cut a hole in the top of this um, and I will cover it with something but uh, just so that I can get my homemade filter on the top of this so all the water that's going to go in here that's going to go into the sink will be filtered uh, with my homemade filter and then if I want to drink it I mean I could drink it right out of here after I filtered it or I can put it through the Berkey so that's all I got to do is put a little hole in here and then we will be good to go and I think it matches with my decor don't you Yay, messy kitchen. I think I need to plant these little seeds in this here little tray. Yep, I'll poke holes in the bottom with that. And it says you're just supposed to spread them over the soil and barely cover. So I'm going to do that and put them in the greenhouse. There we go. I don't even know if you can see those seeds, but I'm just going to press down a little bit and cover them up with a little bit of dirt. Maybe just a teensy bit of water. This is pretty moist because I took it out of the gar one of the garden beds because it's been raining all day. All right, off to the greenhouse. I think I can just slide it in underneath of there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Slide it in between the onions. <laughs> can you see it? Yeah. I don't feel like taking this whole thing off. Woo, it's warm underneath of there. That's awesome. All righty, and I just hold this down with this. Another one over here, another one over here, and I did have to put, since I made this bigger, I had to put that underneath just to kind of keep it up a little bit so the rain doesn't, you know, accumulate and collapse down on it, but this is working really super awesome. Things are really starting to come up. I haven't checked today underneath of there. I think I'm just going to leave them be, but the peppermint is coming back, definitely. That makes me so happy. So, hopefully I'll get more. And I know this is good soil because there's been some little seedlings coming up. Like, that right there, don't know what it is, but it's coming out. So, probably just weeds or grass or whatever. But, yeah, oh, I, I can't really show you, but there is new soil underneath all of these trays. So, this one's ready to plant. And this one is ready to plant too. I think I got 10 bags of garden soil in all. So, and I just have this up here because I don't want the chickens getting down in there and kicking all this stuff out because, well, I'm gonna have to have this whole area blocked off, I think, um, somehow or the other, if I'm gonna keep free ranging those chickens because they love to get in to the garden beds and pick around. So I don't know if I'll get this done today, but that needs to be dug out. You know what? I might go ahead and do that because the ground will be soft. So yeah, let me get that done. I tell you what, I'm glad I did this today and didn't wait. It is much easier to dig this clay soil out when it's moist. Not damp wet because it gets really heavy. I mean, it's still very, very heavy, but it is not totally sopping wet. So I got a good bit out. I mean, it's as, it's deeper than that shovel thingy. So I think that that is enough. Now I just need to fill it up with some decaying wood and some leaves and whatever else I got laying around. Oh my goodness. Are you guys seeing that? Oh, it's, it's escaping down in there. I'm going to pull that out. Oh, the chickens are going to love it. Look at that, you guys. What is it? I think it's the same things I've always been finding, but it's just bigger. I wonder which chicken is going to get it. Let's find out. Wow. Look at it. Poor thing. Well, you're going to be chicken food. Here, chick, 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 chick. 
Here, tick, 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 tick. I think you're Patsy. Here. You want to eat it? Let's see how long it takes. Uh oh, somebody's going to steal it from her. You better run. Uh oh. And it's gone. <laughs> I think that's enough rotted wood for this year, don't you think? Yep. Now I gotta go find some leaves, and I've got plenty. I think that's enough leaves. I'm not even gonna compact it down or anything. The chickens will probably get in here and scratch around and kick most of them out. But all I need, I'm thinking one, two, probably four bags of soil. And to bring it up almost to the top, or maybe even mound it a little bit. And this garden bag will be ready. That one's ready right now, but I don't think I'm going to plant anything in it just quite yet, unless I can find some more plastic. I need a break. <laughs> yep, I've been working. This area is slowly but surely starting to look a little bit more organized. Yeah, I'm not going to be keeping stuff collecting water underneath, you know, by the tiny house anymore just because of the mosquito situation. And look at, look at, I, I'm yellow. I know I'm normal. <laughs> I'm yellow. <laughs> and now I'm not. There's Papa. All right, so I'm going to get something cold to drink and sit and chill out for a little bit and decide if I can do anything else. Anyhow, my neighbors, my new neighbors, came for a visit yesterday. The kids got to come over and, where's the chickens? They're over there. They got to come see the chickens and I showed them around my little... <laughs> shabby chic homestead but they said i'm i'm welcome to come get all the bricks that they have gathered up uh that were just strewn all over their property so i don't know if i have the energy to do that today but uh yeah and, and there's a cool already built brick thingy over there so i'm gonna see if i can get that eventually too um but i need a break yeah i think that's gonna be it for today i'm pretty tired actually Yesterday and today did a lot of work did a lot of lifting of bags and whatnot and moving stuff around and <sighs> But uh, it had to be done and I enjoy it and uh, You just got to keep moving, you know if you keep if you stop moving if you just Lay down and die. Well, that's exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna lay down and die and everybody else is gonna have to take care of your stuff and uh, You know you'll lose your independence and that's for sure so, uh, you know, even if you got joint problems like I do, and I tell you what, with this rain, <laughs> my joints have been barking at me, especially my right big toe and my left knee and my right hip. Who's coming? Oh, somebody's going over to Mr. Lakey's house. But anyhow, um, I think I've been jabbering long enough. Yeah, just keep moving, keep doing for yourself or else you won't be able to do anything for anybody, including yourself before long. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.